Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Ben. And together we are 15 Degrees North. Today we're going to show you the sights and sounds of Dublin. Dublin. Dublin is the capital of Ireland, sitting on the east coast of the country. It's a port city at the mouth of the River Liffey, with around 2 million people living there, which is 40% of Ireland's total population. Founded in the 7th century, it became Ireland's capital upon the country gaining independence from Britain a century ago. Since then, Ireland has forged its own fiat identity internationally, achieving great success within the EU to become one of the richest countries on the planet. Thank you, EU. Question one. When did Ireland become independent from the UK? In what year? In what year? Hmm. 19... Yes. 18. Oh, no. 1922. Oh, close there. Ireland's most famous export is, of course, Guinness. The famed Irish dry style can be sampled all over the city, with warm and welcoming Irish pubs probably the city's biggest attraction. The best of these are located in Temple Bar district, but the most famous of them all is the wonderfully distinctive Temple Bar itself. Now we love to sample the delicacies of all the countries that we visit, but we're going to have to be honest here, Guinness is not for us. I know that makes us sound like a pair of heathens, but we've both had it on trips to Ireland before and didn't love it, so instead we drank some of the many other beers and ciders that Ireland has to offer. And it gave us a perfect opportunity to soak up the amazing atmosphere inside. Question two, what is the title of the Irish head of state? Well, I know that, but I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Give it a go, try. The tea sock. I think that's right. Probably Dublin's most famous resident was Oscar Wilde, whose house is preserved today as a museum. The famed playwright and socialite is known as much for his tragic demise following a stint in prison for being gay as for writing some of the wittiest sayings in the English language. When I was a teenager, Oscar Wilde was absolutely my idol. He was everything that I wanted to be. He was smart, he was intelligent, he was witty, and he was a big old gay, and I loved him for it. Question 3A. <laughs> <laughs> On what date is St. Patrick's Day? Oh, um, March. Yes. The 31st. Oh, no, it's the 17th. Oh. I'm going to give you a half point. Well, no, actually, that was too easy. Uh, question 3B. In which century was St. Patrick born? How am I supposed to know that? I'm going to go with the 13th. Oh, uh, no, it's the 4th. Oh. 4th. Completely wrong. Not even no. close. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> of course, another famous person is St. Patrick, whose cathedral is in central Dublin. The patron saint of Ireland is day celebrated worldwide as an excuse for a lot of drinking and frivolity. Ireland is famous for its vast diaspora, with millions of people around the world, particularly in the USA, able to claim descent from Irish emigrants, which they, of course, mark on Paddy's Day. Question four. Who were the Fenians? Oh, well, that's the separatists. Separatists? Yes. By Sinn Féin. Yeah, yeah, the, the Irish the, nationalists. Yeah, nationalists. Yeah, the right people. <laughs> they got it right. Dublin Castle was a centre of English rule within Ireland. Today, the island of Ireland is split in two, with the South an independent republic and the North still a part of the United Kingdom. This division has caused fierce conflicts over the last century, from the declaration of home rule through the troubles right the way until Brexit and the present day. How long they will stay divided is another question, because if you ask us, that division makes very little sense whatsoever. But of course, not everyone agrees with us there. 
Question five. In what year did Ireland join the EU? Oh. <laughs> Could it be the same time as the UK? Um, Which was when? 1981. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Uh-uh. They joined in 1973. That's the one. Before the UK. Yeah. Dublin's most famous landmark is Trinity College, and in particular, the city's university. An oasis of calm in the middle of the city, its buildings are stunning, but it has two massive assets. Firstly, it contains the Book of Kells, one of the world's oldest and most beautiful illuminated manuscripts of Gospels, dating from around 800 CE. And secondly, its library is arguably one of the most beautiful in the world. Built in the early 18th century, it contains thousands upon thousands of ancient and precious rare books. Dublin is so easy and so cheap to access from the UK, so why not do as we did and hop across at Celtic Sea for a day trip? It's absolutely worth your while. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram at 15 Degrees North. Make sure to tune in to our next video to see where in the world we end up next. See ya. Bye. <laughs>